huge bowl of oats that y'all just saw me made, make, made. Oh my God, I can't even talk. Mm. It is Wednesday. Um, I didn't really vlog yesterday, but I'm gonna kind of take you guys along today. Maybe tomorrow too. Um, we're leaving for Charleston tomorrow. So I'm super excited, but let's just show you guys my check-ins. I'm actually 0.4 pounds down from yesterday. Um, yesterday I got 180 carbs, one and a half gallons of water. Today I get 220 carbs, one and a half gallons of water. I don't know if that's going to change yet because I haven't got, um, Brandon hasn't responded by check-ins. This my back pose. Oh my gosh, I'm so shaky. I don't know if y'all can see that, but still pretty lean waiting to these carbs to really go to work, um, which I probably will in the next few days. So we shall see. Um, we have a my last like poll day today. And I only had 40 minutes of cardio this morning. That'll probably get dropped again tomorrow. Um, no post-workout cardio. We're just vibing, so. Not really sure what today will bring. I have to get, Maddie has to straighten my hair. I have to get my nails done. Probably gonna go all out. Be a little extra, I'm thinking. Cause why not? What else? Oh, yesterday, I was just really busy, like, basically prepping all my food for this weekend because I'm staying at the host hotel. I'm not going to be able to cook all my food. So I cooked, like, all my meats yesterday and um, put them in the freezer so I can just dethaw them and um, warm them up in the microwave. And But today, I have to prep all my meals for the drive tomorrow. That's what we got going on. Typical peak week stuff. Can y'all just look at this though? Look how girthy. Oh, so good. This is gonna make me shit my pants. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I just burped. All right, y'all. It is hours later. I talked to you guys this morning before I went and worked out, and then we went and worked out. And then I had to eat, and then I went and got my nails done. They're super cute. I don't really know how well you guys can see them, but they're like an ombre sparkle situation. And then Maddie also straightened my hair, so I don't have to focus on that this week or worry about it. Um, I'll just like touch it up on show day. But the reason I haven't been on here is because I have been prepping all of the meals that I need for tomorrow, for this weekend. I'm prepping Chuck's food and all that good stuff. So let me show you what we got going on. These are my meals for tomorrow. It's just chicken, rice, and asparagus. And I'm going to put mustard on top of these and put it in the fridge. And I will be eating some oatmeal and raspberries before we leave tomorrow. And then in the fridge, this is, is just a container full of raspberries because I know I will be eating some on Friday. I got all my little avocado things. That's my Pedialyte for um, Saturday. And then I also have a big thing of pineapple. These are Chuck's meals, which is just pasta, pasta sauce, and cottage cheese mixture. That's like leftover rice. And then over here, I am just cooking Chuck's chicken thighs got those going which those will be done soon and then for my meals for Friday and Saturday I cooked all of this chicken yesterday and put it in freezer bags um so and I, I labeled them all so some is only two and a half ounces of chicken some are three ounces of chicken some are four ounces of chicken I just froze those and we will put them all in the Yeti um to keep in the car and keep it cold and I put them in the freezer just in case they happen to dethaw a little bit in the Yeti um and so like I don't know so it would stay fresher I don't I don't really know it's kind of like my first time doing that but like it's fine honestly by Friday and Saturday I'm not even gonna care what my food tastes like it's gonna be dry ass chicken and I'm just gonna be getting it down but oh I also have let's see sorry once again I know this lighting isn't great 
but in my little Trader Joe's bag here, I have almond butter, oats, a shit ton of rice cakes, um, some pink Himalayan salt. I have my teas that I drink at night, um, some bowls. I'm gonna put some plastic forks and oh, in there as well. Um, what else did I put in there? I really don't want to unzip it right now. Oh, I put like my Reese's in there for um, Saturday for like my pump up snack. I have some honey in there and I put some Nutter Butters too, maybe as a pump up snack. I don't really know. I just kind of threw them in there. And then what else do I have to pack? The other things that we're going to put in the cooler are some protein bars and protein shakes for Chuck. He'll probably want to take some other things that we have. I'm not sure. Um, my thing of mustard, obviously. I don't really know what other food thing that we have to pack. Oh, duh, my post-show treats are gonna have to go in there as well, which those are all frozen too. So that's all the food we're packing. And that's just the food. Um, my bags are pretty much packed. I have some clothes that I'm about to switch over to the dryer um, just in case I need to take any of that, but we're pretty much good to go. I do not have to do cardio in the morning. Oh, we ended up upping my carbs a little bit today to fill me out even more. Um, so tomorrow morning, I'm literally gonna wake up, shave my whole body, which is the worst part of prep. Not gonna talk about it, but it's the worst part of prep. Um, I'm gonna shave my whole body, do my makeup. We have to drop the dogs off at boarding. And then we're pretty much just gonna go. And we're gonna work out once we get to Charleston and check into our hotel and just have a chill night. I gotta put on my tan tomorrow too. So I'll probably take you guys along for tomorrow as well. But yeah, it's just a busy day packing all this stuff, but I know as soon as we get on the road tomorrow, like the stress is going to leave my body. So I am excited. We are currently en route to Charleston. We've been on the road for a couple hours now. We only have a little under two hours left to go. Dropped off the dogs this morning, got the car packed, and when I say we got the car packed, I mean Chuck got the car packed, not me. And I'm just eating a meal right now. We just have chicken, rice, asparagus. I packed all my meals. Um, for people who don't know, when you are traveling, a lot of gas stations have microwaves that you could just like heat up your meals. So I made these last night. We just stopped at a gas station, used the bathroom, heated this up, and we are going straight to the gym. And then after the gym, we will go check into the hotel. So I'm going to record some stuff at the gym for you guys. Um, this will be my last workout before the show. Tomorrow I'll be on a meal plan as well. And we're just cruising along. So it's a rainy day right now not really the best weather to be traveling in, but only a couple hours to go. Good thing that these were cheap. How did I break? I don't know. I think another one had broke too. Right. I wonder the pool's open. Like the outside one? It's look. I mean, maybe it's uncovered. It probably is. We got this awesome view of the pool. I don't know if you can really see, like, there's the water over there. And this is, that's a garage in, like, another hotel. Yeah. 
whatever. You're very lucky you get this room last minute. Yeah, shout out Sam. So Sam, if you're watching this, came in clutch. She gave us her room. But we are obviously at the hotel now. We went and worked out. I didn't, I recorded like a couple things or something for you guys, but I did show you guys my pump, so that was good. And pretty much we have, we got a tan tonight and tomorrow I have a meal plan an hour and a half after each meal. I have to send pictures to Brandon and it's going to be a chill day. I think in the morning we are going to go to this donut shop that I've been wanting to go to and just get some, <laughs> Chuck shaking his head behind <laughs> I just want to go get some donuts for like after the show and stuff because I'm they look the one really that gets good. fat and all this. <laughs> but we'll probably grab coffee over there as well. Um, and then I don't know if we're gonna go. Might go to the outlets tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see how far away it is. The parking it's here is like minutes. yeah. I'm just worried because tomorrow is when all, like, if we're going to go to the outlets, it has to be in the morning because all the men show first thing in the morning. So right. everybody's going to be like, yeah, the parking lot's going to be full pretty much. True. So we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, but yeah, basically just going to be chilling tonight. Not, nothing much really going on. I might get some work done here in a little bit on the laptop, but... We're just straight chilling. Trying to get this asparagus, but no real updates. Just trying to fill out. <laughs> I don't know how this angle is. <sighs> Shoot. Hmm. All right, y'all. It is a few hours later. Just went downstairs, made my tea. This is just my sleepy time tea and smooth mood tea to get things going. I drink this like every night. But there's no microwaves in our rooms. Um, so I keep having to go downstairs to warm up my food, but meals are all in, water is all in. And I'm about to take off my makeup now and um, put on my first coat of tan. And I just do the self tan um, because it's easier that way in my opinion. Now I've never gotten tanned by the tanning companies, but I feel like this is a lot less like stress. Like I'm just definitely straight chilling, so. I'm going to take off my makeup. All right, we have our first coat of tan on and it is now 9.19. Probably gonna be going to bed soon, not gonna lie. Um, tomorrow morning we're going to walk to a little coffee shop and we have check-ins tomorrow night. So again, tomorrow is just gonna be a full day of relaxing and waiting until Saturday. So I guess I will talk to you guys in the morning. Of this. Four pairs of underwear and like three t shirts. <laughs> oh, why is that not enough? It's like, I just probably like overpack. Probably just needed more t shirt and more underwear. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Again today. How's it look? 
Good. We're just seeing which video I liked better. I'm just gonna find a way to make you look skinny so I can get you even more <laughs> My face is cracking me up because, like, my tan. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can fix all that with makeup. Oh, yeah, I know. It's just funny right now, though. You cute. Oh, um, no, I'm just going to put it out there and get older. It is Friday. All right. Anyways, it is Friday. Took pictures this morning, sent them to Brandon, and we are just walking literally like right down the street going to this donut shop that I've been wanting to go to. Um, obviously, I'm not going to eat any of these today. So be like this. I don't like it back like that. Yeah, just move it out. You're not going back, you're just going out. The lay your arm flat. So just take this arm, leave it like this, and then just kind of push your lat out a little bit more and then roll. So like you're you're going basically from here to here and then your arm still just kind of like yeah it's better take a picture of us today okay That's why I wanted to do it. <laughs> I'll do it again. Hold on. This is a good point. It's still recording. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's fine. Show of the year, I want to document everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, something I think you do is um, you preload your right leg for when you're doing your transition. Mm -hmm. When you go into your back pose, lean on your left leg a little bit more because your right glute looks a little more developed. So, like in this go transition? Like you, go like you regularly would. Go into your back pose.
Okay. Now, go into your back pose, but imagine you're leaning just a little bit more on your left leg. Hold on, let me just do the whole thing. <laughs> Pushing too much. No, that's good. Alright, now go. Alright, sway right, sway left. Now lean on your left leg. Perfect. Okay. So you see how your right is a little more developed? Yeah. This is when you're leaning with your left leg, right? Now that's when you just go into it regularly. You see how you flex out a little bit more on this leg because you're already anticipating that you're going to have to. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And I think just because I am right handed, I feel like I probably naturally do that. Oh, for sure. Even, like, even if, if you're going to take, well, and... especially with cross country, you take off of a sprint, you, right. your back leg puts the most power forward first. Right. Like, all right, check-ins were sent to Brandon and I just ate another meal. And now we're stopping by the outlets just to kind of look around and get a little bit of movement in, like just walking because pretty much for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna be chilling in the hotel room and relaxing. So we're just gonna see what they get, but we're going to the Nike store because this is what we do every time. So let's go. Currently in North Face, I stopped by at Starbucks and got me a little coffee because I didn't drink my whole coffee this morning. But tell me why Chuck is trying on more jackets. The dude has the most jackets I've ever seen in my life. Um, but we also went to Nike and I got some new sweatpants for like 20 bucks. And we went to Vans and I got a new pair of shoes for $12. So we're winning right now back at the hotel i just wanted to show you guys these are the sweatpants that i got they're so cute they're men's that's why i had to like roll them over but the color is so cute and they're comfortable i like them like loose and baggy but chuck actually went with um one of our friend's husbands and our friend's husband my friend kayla he went with her husband, Dustin, and they're going to some gym to work out. And I'm just staying here and really just gonna chill and relax. I just sent check-ins to Brandon again, and I'm about to go make my third meal for the day. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good. I think I'm gonna take a nap as well. We have check-ins tonight. I think I've already said that in this video, but um, just trying to really be calm, chill, and you know, tomorrow's the day. I'm feeling really good. Um, there's just been some signs today that I think tomorrow is going to be a great day. I just want to have fun and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But I'm very proud of the package that I'm bringing. This is the mixed meal. We got jasmine rice, 230 grams, 100 grams of pineapple, 100 grams of veggies, and then there's 85 grams of chicken powder. sit here and enjoy. I don't know if this lighting is any good. All right, we are going to warm up my last meal for the night. It's just 85 grams of chicken, four rice cakes, and 20 grams of honey. And then we have check-ins to go to. And then probably another coat of tan to put on tonight. I don't know, I'm gonna ask the tan ladies if they think I should put on another coat or just the top coat tomorrow, and we'll see. So, let's go check-ins. So we have to use the microwave down here because 
they don't allow microwaves in the room. Yeah, so no microwaves in the room, so every single time I come and eat a meal, I have to come all the way downstairs. And we're on the sixth floor, so I'm going to take the elevator all the way down here to use this single microwave. Get focused. Corey's <laughs> like, it kind of always is here. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should do one more coat tonight. Um, usually, usually two coats. All right, y'all. It is 9 p.m. Obviously, makeup is off. Still got the tan on. Gonna do the last coat in the morning. Gotta wake up at 5. Or wait, no. Waking up at like. 4.30 in the morning, first meal at 5 a.m. We have an athletes meeting at 8 a.m. And then pre-judging starts at 9. So peak week is pretty much over. And we just have show day tomorrow. And I'm really excited. We'll see what happens. I will see you guys in the next one.